Nagbabalak ka ba magbenta ng real property gaya na lang ng bahay o lupa? Hello everyone, Gerard here with another video on taxation. So sa video na ito, pag-usapan natin ang capital gains tax. So ang capital gains tax ay tax na imposed on the gains presumed to have been realized by the seller from the sale, exchange, or other disposition of capital assets located in the Philippines, including pacto de retro sales and other forms of conditional sale. So ang capital gains tax ay isang uri ng tax na binabayaran kapag tayo ay nagbenta ng isang capital asset gaya na lamang ng bahay o lupa. For simplicity, hindi ko na i-discuss dito kung paano mag-classify ng isang capital asset or isang ordinary asset. Pwede niyong panoorin tong video dito upang mas malaman kung paano mag-classify ng isang ordinary asset or isang capital asset. Tanda na lang natin na ang CGT or capital gains tax ay isang uri ng tax na binabayaran pag tayo ay nagbenta ng isang real property classified as capital asset. Hindi ko na din i-discuss ang treatment ng CGT ng shares of stock. I'll have a separate video on that due to the effect of create law. So for example, the taxpayer sold the following during 2022 with their respective selling price. How much will be subject to capital gains tax on the assets sold by the taxpayer? For capital gains tax purposes, mga real properties lamang ang subject sa CGT. Sa example natin, yung house and lot at agricultural land ang covered. Yung ibang asset na binenta dahil personal or movable sila, hindi sila subject sa CGT. Ang rate ng CGT dito sa Pilipinas ay 6% which is the same with estate tax at donor's tax. Magkakaiba lang ang kanilang mga tax base, pero ang similarity nila ay connected sila lahat sa pag-transfer ng properties. So for CGT purposes, ang gagamitin natin na tax base ay whichever is higher between the selling price, the market value, or the BIR zonal value as determined by the commissioner of BIR, or the fair market value as determined by the local assessor. So for example, a taxpayer is planning to sell his residential lot. For purposes of capital gains tax, the following were gathered. For capital gains tax purposes, which amount shall be used as the basis for computing the tax? Ang sabi ng BIR ay ang basis ng CGT ay whichever is higher between the selling price, the fair market value, or zonal value determined by the BIR. Sa halimbawa natin dito, ang pinakamataas sa tatlo ay ang selling price. Therefore, yung 6 million ang magiging basis ng CGT. So to emphasize sa definition ng BIR with regards to capital gains tax, ang sabi ay presumed gains at hindi actual gain. Ang ibig sabihin kung alin man ang pinakamataas ang value either sa selling price, market value, or the BIR zonal value, ay doon na natin imumultiply directly yung 6%. So for example, a taxpayer sold his house and lot for 3.5 million in 2022. The latest tax declaration showed that the house and lot had a total market value of 3.8 million. The house and lot had a total historical cost of 3 million. How much would be the capital gains tax? As you can see, ang basis ng CGT ay ang presumed gain. So sa example natin, hindi natin imumultiply ang CGT rate na 6% sa difference ng selling price at historical cost. Imumultiply na natin agad ang 6% sa whichever is higher between selling price, market value, or BIR zonal value. So to answer the question, the market value is higher than the selling price at walang binigay sa problem na zonal value ang BIR. Multiply na natin ang 3.8 million sa 6%. Ang CGT ay 228,000. So paano at sino ang magpa-file ng capital gains tax? Ayon sa BIR, ang required mag-file ng capital gains tax ay the seller, transferor, who are natural or juridical, whether resident or non-resident, including estates and trusts who sell, exchange, or dispose of a real property located in the Philippines classified as capital asset. Sa pag-file ng capital gains tax, gagamit tayo ng BIR Form 1706, which is Final Capital Gains Tax Return for Onerous Transfer of Real Property Classified as Capital Assets, Either Taxable and Exempt. Dagdag ko na din ang mga requirements na ito which are listed sa website ng BIR. Nakashare yung link sa description ng video na ito. Tip din sa mga bumibili ng real property, dapat settled ang capital gains tax at mga related na documentary stamp tax 
upang ma-issue ng BIR ang Electronic Certificate Authorizing Registration or ICAR. Ito ay isang certificate na nagsasabi na lahat ng taxes related sa pagbebenta ng property ay settled. Napaka-importante ng dokumento na ito dahil kung wala ang e-car, hindi mare-register sa pangalan ng buyer ang property. And that's it. So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it helps me create more videos like this. So this is Gerard. I'll talk to you in the next one.